Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to build HAVPN between Google Cloud and AWS. So let's first understand what all components would you require. So you'll require a VPC, you will require your subnet. So for this demo, if you want, you can use your default VPCs as well. Both default VPCs are present at both the end, AWS as well as Google Cloud. Apart from VPC, in AWS, you will require the uh, virtual private gateway or transit gateway. And in Google Cloud, you would need to create the uh, Google Cloud VPN gateway and cloud router okay cloud router is required for the dynamic route exchange so if you, we are using bgp protocol we are not doing static routes then in that scenario you would need to create a cloud router and we would be doing a dynamic uh, vpn not the static one right so these are the components let's get started with this so first thing i'll go to google cloud and i'll go to vpn and i'll create vpn connection and we are building an ha vpn okay so i'll continue I'll call this as GCP VPN gateway. I'll use the default network and I'll select the IWA subnet. I'll select IPv4 connection right now. If you want IPv6 support, you can select dual stack. I'll say create. And what this will do is this will basically create a VPN gateway in GCP. Okay, this is required first and you need to go to a different tab you can clone that current tab and then you can go to vpn and you need this ip addresses so that we can proceed with the con configuration at the aws end all right so this is done i will continue the configuration at the gcp and in some time let's go to uh, aws and let's do some configuration at the aws end so at aws first thing what i'll do is i'll create a vpn gateway okay so i'll say create vpn gateway i'll call it as AWS VPN gateway so we, we require one VPN gateway or it would be a transit gateway and you need to attach it with your VPC all right next you need to go to customer gateway and you need to create customer gateways as well so I'll say create customer gateway so I, I'll say customer gateway one you would be creating two customer gateways since we are establishing an HA VPN. Okay, we need to create two customer gateways. That's why I have called it as one. And over here, I'll copy the first IP address and paste. Now I'll create the second customer gateway. Need to get the IP address. I'll say create. Next, you need to create VPN connection. So I'll click on side to side VPN. I'll say create VPN connection. I'll call it as connection one. Select the VPN gateway. I'll select the first customer gateway. And I'll say create VPN. Similarly, I'll say create connection two. This time I'll select second customer gateway. I'll say create connection. Now once the connections are created, you need to download the configuration files. So I'll say download configuration. And I'll use generic since we are not having a physical firewall or device which is we are connecting to. It's the Google Cloud VPN gateway which we want to connect to. So we'll select generic. And we'll download both the configuration files. This is configuration file for one. This is configuration file for two. And over here you have all the VPN related details. Okay. Now we need to use this detail to configure Google Cloud site. First thing, I will copy the details of tunnel one or VPN one or connection one. And inside this, I first thing what I require is the AWS site gateway IP address. And I'll copy this and I'll go to Google Cloud and we'll continue the configuration. So here we need to configure the peer gateway that is the AWS site gateway. And I'll say create peer gateway. 
okay so i'll call it as peer gateway it has two interfaces since we have created two customer gateways we'll copy this we'll copy this as well now we need to put other two ip addresses also we can select four interfaces and now i'll, I'll open the second configuration file copy this IP address okay so this is done next for uh, dynamic route exchange we would need to create cloud router I'll say create new cloud router I'll just call it as simply as cloud router itself and the ASN which we would be using that we need to enter so ASN we have provided as 65,000 so we'll use the same I'll say create okay now you need to create VPN tunnels or connection so let's create tunnels I'll call it as tunnel 1 so let's get the preset key for tunnel 1 and that you will again find in this document connection 1 document you will find the preset key for tunnel 1 similarly we will create tunnel 2 preset key for I copied the wrong preset key for tunnel 1 let me correct that first Next, we will create tunnel 3 and the preset key for tunnel 3 would be in connection 2 file. Then we will create tunnel 4. And we need to get the details of the last tunnel. We'll paste it over here. So this is done. I'll say create and continue. So we have four tunnels: one, two, three, four. Now we need to configure next is the uh, BGP session details. Once this is created, the third step. Okay, so let's configure the session details. I'll start with tunnel 1. Okay, I'll call it as session 1. And I'll need to do it manually. And we would again go back to the configuration file to get the details. I need to get the details copied. We need peer ASN as well. So peer ASN is the AWS side ASN details. ASN details of AWS. There it is. We need to do the same steps for the other ones also. Okay. And once you're done these steps, your tunnels would be up. So I'll just pause the video and do it in background. So I've configured all the four uh, session details over here. Okay, I'll save this changes. Okay, and this will create the tunnel. This will start establishing the tunnel. Now on the AWS side, I, side I need to do some small change. So let's do that. Meantime, this is getting established. So inside AWS route table inside your default route table you need to basically enable route propagation 
okay if you don't do that then the bgp routes wouldn't get propagated and you would need to manually do that okay so either do you do it manually or you just simply enable this so i've enabled this the route exchange would happen automatically if i don't need to put any static routes now for the testing purpose what we'll do is we'll create a ec2 instance in aws and we'll create a compute engine instance in google cloud and we'll check the connectivity by doing a ping request so i'll say launch instance so i'll call it as aws vm I'll leave all the other things as default. I would be creating this in default VPC that okay in default VPC my VPN is also created. I'll use the default security group where all the traffic is already allowed. And I'll say launch. Okay, let me do the same thing at the Google Cloud end as well. In Google Cloud, I'll go to Compute Engine. And I'll create a compute engine instance. Now my VPN is in Iowa region, so I'll select the same region. And I'll you can select a small size instance for doing the lab. So I can select something like N2 or N1 standard, and I can go with a smaller size. So if you're not in free tier and you want to test it out, so you can do something like this and rest of the things I'll leave it as default and I'll create this now one more thing which I need to do is I need to enable the firewall rule in GCP side because GCP doesn't allows or does it allows let me quickly check so it allows ingress traffic apply to all targets it does allows the ping request by default so yeah we would be able to ping if this rule is not there then you would need to allow the ports so we don't need to allow the ports in ports in this scenario so let's get back to compute engine okay, this is still getting created you can see it is all like all like all the tunnels are established all the tunnels are green which means the connectivity is established now if i go to the aws site let me see the results so we can go to even connection and if i refresh this thing it is available and if i go to terminal details tunnels are up and running both the tunnels are up which means that if i log into this vm let's log into this vm first And if I try to ping the compute engine instance in Google Cloud and I'll do it on the private IP address since there is a VPN connectivity established I'll use this IP address I'm able to ping and if I do the other way down so if I try to ping the private IP address of the EC2 instance from compute engine so let me connect to compute engine now If I try to ping, I'm able to ping from here as well, right? So with this, we have successfully established the VPN connectivity between AWS and GCP, and that too in an HA mode. Okay, so if any of the tunnel goes down, the other tunnels would be still up and running. This is it for this lab. Thank you for watching.